So this question is um, asking you to work with some fractions and decimals and percentages, equivalents. So it's saying give you a fraction. So we've got to write 90% as a fraction. Uh, well, percentages as fractions are out of 100. So 90% would be 90 out of 100 parts. And it's asking us, though, we've got to really remember it wants simplest form. It's worth two marks, so they're expecting a little bit of working out. Simplest form for fractions, look for a common uh, factor. Um, both of these numbers will divide by 10, so the numerator and the denominator divide by 10. So 90 divided by 10 is 9, and 100 divided by 10 is 10. So our final answer here will be 9 tenths. Uh, write three quarters of a decimal. Well, there are loads of fractions and decimals that you need to be really familiar with for your exam. So things like a quarter, 0.25, 25%, a half, 0.5, 50%. And three quarters is one that you should know, which is 0 0.75. It's three of the quarters and 75%. One fifth, 0 0.2, 20%. And one third. And be really careful with a third. It's not 0 0.3. It's 0 0.3 recurring, so we put the dot there to show that. And as a percentage, it's not 33%. You've got to show that it's 33.3%. So these are some of the common um, fractions and uh, percentage decimals. Uh, we should also have a tenth, of course, so 0.1 and 10%. So these are the common ones that we need to know. Because if we know a quarter, for example, we also know an eighth, because we could half this number to get an eighth. So the answer for the three quarters of the decimal is 0.75 as decimal, not 75% because decimal numbers must have that decimal point in them. The last part of this question says work out um, this. Well, we have to remember that there is an order for operations. So a lot of you will have learnt uh, bid mass. So we must remember that if we've got sums involved in brackets, then we look at doing the bracket bits first. If we've got sums involved in indices, then that would be done next. And division, multiplication. Um, got to be careful here though because um, sometimes sums have just addition and subtraction in them and those you just do in the order that you see the addition and subtraction appear. Uh, same with division and multiplication. Um, if there's a sum with division and multiplication within then, and that's the only thing that's happening then you do them in the order you see them. But here we've got 8 plus 5 times 6 so bid mass is telling us that multiplication gets done before addition so we're going to do 5 times 6 first so 30 and then we're going to add the 8 on last, so 38 is the final answer. So just be a little bit careful with the order of operations for the bid mass.